Each breast is made up of lobes, lobules, and ducts. The lobe consists of smaller lobules that contains a group of tiny milk producing glands. When a breast is producing milk, it passes through the ducts into the nipple where it exits the body. Breast cancer most commonly develops in the lobules, glands, and ducts of the breasts. Surgical removal of the tumor is a common treatment for breast cancer. There are a number of surgical techniques and your doctor will help you decide which is best for your situation. In addition to removing your breast tissue, it may be necessary to remove some or all of the lymph nodes under your arm. The main surgical procedures are lumpectomy and mastectomy. A lumpectomy preserves the appearance of the breast. The tumor along with the margin of surrounding tissue is removed. In this procedure, your surgeon will make an incision in the skin and separate the tumor and a margin of health tissue from the breast with the scalpel. Then your surgeon will remove the mass with forceps, send it to the pathology lab for examination and close the wounds with sutures. In a mastectomy, the entire breast is removed. This is usually indicated when the tumor is too large for a lumpectomy. In a simple mastectomy, only your breast tissue is removed. Your surgeon will begin by making an incision around your nipple. He or she will then separate your breast tissue from the muscle underneath and remove it for examination. Finally, your surgeon will insert drains to prevent fluid collection before closing the wound. The most common type of mastectomy is the modified radical mastectomy, in which the entire breast and some or all of the lymph nodes under your arm are removed. In this procedure, your surgeon will make an incision along the length of your breast, separate your breast tissue, from the muscle underneath and remove it for examination. To remove the lymph nodes under your arm, many surgeons use a technique called synonode biopsy. In this procedure, dye is injected into your breast to determine which lymph nodes drain fluid first. It is these lymph nodes that are most likely to contain cancer. Your surgeon will remove one to three of these lymph nodes for examination. Insert drains and close the wound with sutures. In a radical mastectomy, the breast, underlying tissue, muscle beneath the breast, and all of visible lymph nodes are all removed. Your surgeon will begin by making an incision along the length of the breast. Next, he or she will separate all of the breast tissue muscle from the chest wall and visible lymph nodes and remove them for examination. Finally, your surgeon will insert drains before closing the wound.